All right, this is an instructional video about how to use those T-slot T -slot nuts. They are, they look a bit different and they are different to use than a, just a normal standard nut. So what you basically do first, you, um, you insert the screw from this side and you add the nut so that it's not super tight, we call it finger tight, and you orient them in a horizontal position so that when you add the aluminium profile that you can slide the profile onto the nuts. I have already assembled the other two profiles, so this is the last profile that I need to put on. So I stopped the video here because uh, I need my hands to add the profile to the nuts. Alright, so the profile is added, but it's still loose. Um, the T-slot nuts is sitting inside, inside this groove horizontally, but there is no connection yet with the profile. Same side here. So how do you get the T-slot to connect with the profile. You can see here there is the, there is a gap. There's a gap between between the plastic and the aluminium profile. So what you do is you loosen the screw, the, um, the hex screw, by five full turns. So this is one. Two, three, four, five, and then you tighten it by about two and a half screws, uh, two and a half turns. It's a bit difficult to do this with one hand. Try to. One. two and a half and you can see now the gap is tightening that means the T-lock nut has connected with the profile and you can see also from the side Let's see if I can get a good shot here alright you can see it's not 100% in a right angle with the, with the profile, but it's good enough and this was a solid connection. And this is absolutely the fastest way to connect a T-slot nut with the aluminium profile. And it's also the fastest way to assemble this whole um, base for a Delta 3D printer. Now, I Tighten this not this screw first. What you have to do is always tighten these two screws first because you cannot visually check whether the T-slot nut has connected with the profile. Therefore you have, you have to tighten them first so that you can see actually the gap here tightening and then you know oh it connected. So you tighten these two first and then these two first and only then you start with those and those. All right. This will save you probably an hour or two um, time of assembling um, this space for the Delta printer. All right. Have fun. Visit my Facebook group for other um, tricks and suggestions about 3D printers deltas in particular. Cheers!